Um, all right, raise your hand. Yes. So just the power button. button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? Danny here. So I have my friend Sheena here. Want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me if I could help upgrade her PC or switch the case out anyways because it's falling apart. So what were the main problems with this case that you had? So one side of the case, as soon as I bought it from this guy on Craigslist, just like slid right off. He didn't give me extra screws or just didn't give me screws in general to put it together. Okay. And also it's really dusty inside. So the dusty thing you could have controlled yes. though. <laughs> but I don't know how to clean my computer at all. Okay, so, so we'll, I'll actually show you how to do that and we'll do that um, once we uh, talk about the rest of it. Do you know how much you bought this for by the way? I can't remember. That was back in 2017. So you bought this in 2017 and you haven't cleaned it since. So three yes. years of dust accumulation. <laughs> December 2017 to be fair. Okay, so not <laughs> two, three. two years. Has there been any other major issues with the computer at all? Like, um, otherwise it's been fine. Like it runs perfectly. Okay, so it runs fine. Just dusty and the case is falling apart, which this is a pretty old case. I looked it up, it's from 2013. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna help Sheena take this apart and then we're gonna put it into a new case. I feel like a lot of people out there have computers but they don't necessarily know how to maintain or even handle them. And since she bought this, you know, completely built uh, and it was working, she never had to do that. But I'm actually gonna force her to build her own computer in the new case and then she'll get experience with it and hopefully become more comfortable with it. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day, Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. So you can actually do more and upgrade it yourself down the line. Okay. Alright, so you ready to do this? Yes, I'm game. Okay. I'm ready to start fishing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so let's do that. But first, a word from our sponsor. So we actually need to dust this because so we don't get dust around here. Okay. So we're, we'll go down to the garage because we can dust all we want there and not have to worry about it. I really need to clean mine, it's so bad. You are just gonna use this to basically get all, as much dust out as you can. Okay. So you just press it once and just leave it on. Uh, Yeah, so it looks like way better already. We actually see the fans now for the front. Um, but even on the inside here too, like that, oh, oh there's the case. <laughs> These fans that were kicked on the inside, they, they actually look really good now just with that pass. Let's uh, bring it upstairs. Oh gosh, it's so cold. Saber 2 Z97 motherboard, but I have no idea what the processor is inside it, so I'll just put it on the screen once I get it later, but, um, okay. So let's undo these screws first. Okay. You gotta remove this connector and this one. There's a tab right here, so I'll squeeze that and then pull that out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you did get the tab out. You just have to wiggle it a little uh, bit. okay. Oh my god, that's heavy. <laughs> so now we'll, we'll disconnect everything on the motherboard, so like that, these connectors. Do you have to be like dainty? No, that th that one can just pull straight out. Yep, these, that one can also pull straight out. So you have to undo these two screws to get the graphics card out. Okay. I think it's good for you to be able to take things out as well. Yes. yes. To pull this out, you have to push on this tab right here. That this little tab? tab? Yep. There you go, and then now kind of wiggle it a little bit to get it out. What is holding it in here? Oh yeah, oh, so okay. you, we just had to pull it out uh, parallel. So this is your graphics card, which is a GTX 1060. <laughs> you gotta manhandle these parts. This is a six gigabyte version. Okay, that's, that's okay. good. So the motherboard is usually the biggest pain because there's so many faster points. So you want to undo like these okay. screws right there. We'll just throw everything in here because they're universal anyways. Oh, okay. So we don't lose it, the magnetic tray. You can also use this one. A lot of the viewers actually like this because it makes a ratcheting sound, oh, but... <laughs> satisfying. Yeah, so there's a point here and here. Get the ASMR going. There's four screws on this side here. Okay. Turn it. 
So you want to grab those, these four. Okay. Yep. And then this whole thing will come out as a single piece. Okay, so it's undo. This can you undo that? Oh man, that's tight spots. Basic, yeah. Does this one have a tab? Yeah, I think the tab should be on the upper side too. Okay, so let's move this out here. This is your SSD, so you want to undo those and pull that out. Okay. You can pull the red one out. That one doesn't have a tab. Oh. And then that one has a tab, so pull that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 60 gigabytes? Huh. Ooh, yeah, so that's easy. So they call this toolless design. Normally you would have to put like, screws in it and it's yeah. a pain, but that was super quick. Nice. So we've got almost everything out except for... Oh, just use? the cables. That's it? So you wanna pull out all the, we need the red cables. Okay. Just like untangle right, them here. out? Yeah, we can put it uh, standing up so it's... Oh, okay. But she does need the red cables? Yeah, it's part of the power supply. Oh. Is that useful? Is it ties? Is that like, common? Zip ties is, is either that or Velcro straps. We'll be doing the same in your new case. Somewhere. Move over this table. So we have all the parts here. First thing we need to do is remove this and then redo uh, the thermal paste on here. Get you a fresh start since we have the parts out anyways. So, uh, you're gonna undo these four screws and then let me get the thermal paste and rubbing alcohol. Okay, so this can just come off. That was the old thermal paste on there. The alcohol does a really good job of just like cleaning that completely up. So just do that and just kind of wipe it to clean all that In off. Here? Yep. Oh. I wasn't expecting it to be so gooey still. Mm -hmm. It doesn't like harden as it dries? It, sometimes it does. It depends on the stuff that they use and how old it is. We'll also clean off the thermal paste from uh, this block as well. Okay. So same thing. This one I think is a little bit going to be crustier <laughs> due to the stuff that kind of Steve. went off the side. Okay. Yeah, yeah you have to like... It's really caked on there. Y yeah, you're going to have to do multiple passes. Okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. So I think we have everything disassembled and ready to go. So the case um, that we're gonna be working with is right here. I see right here. Ooh. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just see. Yeah. Are you okay? So this is the Corsair 220T. It's a white case in RGB. So it's gonna match very well with your color scheme with the, with the motherboard. RGB means Red, uh, green, blue, which oh. means it can change between the colors. Oh, no. So yeah, you can get the rainbow effect or you can set it to whatever colors you want. So I'll let Hi. you cut can this open unboxing. and unbox it. <laughs> yeah. Yay. You do have a red color scheme going with yours. So if you want to, you can set it to like red light oh. and it'll match. <laughs> this is actually a relatively new case. Yeah, I think it's gonna look good with the rest of the parts. So cool. you're gonna be able to, I think, peel. I think so. Yes. Don't do it for you, yeah, you'll get to peel it <laughs> later. These already comes with fans in the oh, front. Nice. So I'm thinking this has to stay up top again. Okay. And then it'll be right side up as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Look at those details. <laughs> Now we can put the case aside okay. for you to put the block onto here. So you're gonna put this thermal paste, uh, like a, a pea sized drop right in the center. Okay. Is that enough? Uh, a little bit more than that. What? Twice as much as that, yeah. Oh, okay. Being stingy with the- Oh, don't worry, don't, don't be stingy with it, it's fine. Okay. That looks good, yep. So we got our piece size drop. Uh, you can recap that. I'm gonna help you by holding onto the radiator. Okay. Um, just kind of like hand tight at first, and then we'll come back in. Place it on top first. Oh. So line that up. Yep. Now 
Flatten it, it down, yep, push it down. And then you can get the uh, each of those <laughs> on the corners. Yeah, I'll hold this right here. Okay, should I screw it in? Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, hand tighten it. Oh, get, you gotta hand tighten it? Yeah, for now. And then we'll oh, come back I in see. with a screwdriver. Okay. Okay, so once that's on, uh, use a screwdriver to... You can use the... Uh, what's the ratchet The bigger one? one? Yeah, because it has the... Oh, piece of dash yourself. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Yep. We have this set up and ready to go. So now you want to put your RAM back in. When you put RAM in, you have to align these notches with here. These were in the dark slots and then these were in the light gray slots. So the way you put it in is you just push down firmly until you hear a snap. Okay. Was that the snap? I, I don't think that was a snap. Oh really? Oh. There we go. <laughs> and then push that one in. You'll see this clip close. Uh oh. oh. There you go. Okay. okay. Okay, and then in this third one, right? Yeah. Does it go this way? Um, actually, let's see. I think it can't be messed up. Oh, that's nice. They put the slots in so you can't do it the wrong way. Oh, so this way? Um, yep. Oh, and I guess we should have put that in oh. first, but I think we could fit it in. Um, yeah, we should install oh, it in order. Oh, that goes in really nice and yeah. easy. Yep. Let's get the motherboard into the case. Okay. And um, so we can move this to the side. Let's put the case uh, front and center. Okay, we're gonna pull everything back through here because we don't want the cables to show. Oh, okay. Yeah, we wanna get clean cable management so it looks nice on the front and then also tidy on the back. All of these we're gonna route through a different hole. We're gonna remove this filter up here because oh, that one has it's, too. it's magnetic, yeah. Mm -hmm. So to clean that, to clean it, it's easy <laughs> to pull off. Okay. So we're gonna take this and drop it in there. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna line up. You see these standoffs right here? Yes. Those are where those screws came out of. Um, okay. So you're gonna line that all up. Are all cases pretty much the same format? That's why these line up. Yep. Uh, it's it's all standard. There's different sizes of these, and there's different holes to accommodate for that. So usually it'll set itself down. Okay. Was there a, oh, there was, so. Is Yep. <laughs> this is called an IO shield. And we definitely need this. I oh. thought it was attached to that because of this huge plastic block. So the worst thing is when you finish building your computer and you forget that you put this in, and then you have to like oh, undo everything. everything. apart. Yeah, like this, that would suck. this is what you start off with. So okay. let's get that into, and then push that corner in and it'll click. Yep. That's so satisfying. <laughs> okay, so now we're good. That's why there's a space here. Okay. So now we're good to put this in. I was like, it's not fitting. <laughs> you, did you forget any other parts? <laughs> I did not, no. we, we need a spreadsheet of all the parts. <laughs> we're gonna need to grab all the connectors down here mm -hmm. because the motherboard, they're gonna have to come through these holes and when it's in place, it actually oh, gets in the way. Yeah, okay. So, okay, so we need the audio. So this connector right here is the audio for your front mic and headphones. Here's USB 3.0 for these two. So that's gonna get routed to the center. This will also go through. Anybody who doesn't know this know that those are those. <laughs> um, that's a good question. You don't have an answer. <laughs> I actually don't have an answer. Like, <laughs> uh, no, you would just spend more time to, like, oh, okay, messing up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Basically. Just experience. This part, yeah, there's not too much explaining I can really do for it. If you were doing this on your own, you just read the instruction manual very closely. Now that I'm trying to like go through it with you, I'm realizing like when you do it, when you're doing it for the first time, if you don't have any help, it is complicated. Yes, I'm glad you guys are here to help me because I am confused. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're getting hands on with it. How long did it take you to learn how to build PCs? I don't really remember how my first one went actually. <laughs> like, so I built my first one on my own, I think in 2009 or t nine or 10. 
Yeah. And I don't know how I even did it. It, it was so long ago that I don't remember like struggling or anything like that. <laughs> wow. uh, no, I mean, like, I'm sure I'm sure I struggled, <laughs> but I don't remember specifically what I struggled on. That was too traumatic. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, your 8-pin CPU power connector. Yes. So you're gonna want to plug that in to here. Okay. Just and the tab this. goes up. Yep. There we go. As we lift it up um, mm -hmm. to put it in, we'll route this back here. I just remembered something. You can put it right here. Okay. I actually got some cable combs. Your cables, they're actually very nice um, braided cables. Mm -hmm. But when you have these, you want to keep them kind of aligned to make them look nice. Yeah. And that's what these are for. These are called mm -hmm. cable combs. I noticed you didn't have any, so these are like four bucks, so I just picked them up. Oh, nice. We'll put them in here so that it keeps the shape of the cable nice um, throughout. Like put it that way or put the yeah, behind this Behind one? that way. So get those four into those slots and then get the next four on top of them. Oh, okay. Oh, those go in really easy. Okay. Okay, and then here, just get another set on there just to... And then you would put it down a little bit further, like down here. And it keeps it like straight. Oh, that's so cool. I never knew this existed. So that's good to go. Um, cool. So you're good to drop it in Place now. It in. Just it. drop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can you can grab it by here if you need to oh, okay. get a better grip. Um, so I think it needs to go that way a little bit more. more How are those lined up? Couldn't, couldn't tell you. <laughs> there we go. I think I think I just heard everything falling. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks good. Let's put in just a few of the screws. We'll finish them off later. Okay. And this is just in case we do need to pull it off again. We don't have to undo all of them. Is it going in pretty nicely? Yeah. If, if you do get it in crooked, don't keep tightening. Oh, Otherwise okay. you'll cross thread it and it'll ruin the standoff. Okay. And yeah. What we need to do now actually is we want to hide these cables. And to do that, we need to turn these fans so that it's facing on the back side. Okay. So all you have to do is undo these four screws. Okay. Yep, and it flips, and woo, we're gonna wipe that down. There's because, a lot in there. Yeah, There's a lot of kicked in things. That's that's okay. Yeah, so let's undo these fans, and you can just kind of do this like hanging. Okay. Ooh, look at Ooh, that. Ooh, yeah. We'll just wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. Okay. Okay, so we can take this out now. You want to just take that blue rag with rubbing alcohol and Ooh. get this real quick. My favorite part. <laughs> Your favorite part is the rubbing alcohol. Yeah, I like cleaning. Clean the dust. Grab it out, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. We need to get the big portions first. How often do you actually clean your PC? Um. He doesn't. He changes it every six months. <laughs> <laughs> no, I change my PC. Or I clean mine. If okay. you do it normally enough from the start, it, it doesn't accumulate as badly. Okay. Uh, and yeah. then the stuff actually comes out. But once it gets kicked on, that's the issue. If she dusts it like once every couple of months. Oh, it shouldn't be. All you have to do is like unplug it and then bring it outside and use like your roommate's air duster or something. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that from now on. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't judge me, internet. <laughs> Where's that screwdriver keep going to? <laughs> oh, right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so let's get this one on here first. Okay. So now we're just gonna push this up to the top. Okay. Give that one. Okay, so we're good on that. Now the next biggest pain is getting all these front connectors down here. Yeah. This one right here is the audio for your front uh, headphone and mic. Yeah. That goes right here actually. Okay. So you want to just put that into there and just make sure that when you look at the pin, uh, cause there's like one missing one there. Oh, um, just that, align it? Yeah, make sure you don't put it like upside down and it crush the pins. Is that good? I think. And then next would be USB into right here. So you see how the, now that one's missing a pin in the corner. Mm -hmm. So. I uh, like the far right bottom corner. Okay, I think that's good. So now the last part is these front headers. This is, 
the worst one because if you look oh, at these, they're tiny. They're tiny, and they have to go to here, which the instructions are typically also tiny. But um, can you actually see, read those little labels? They'll say the same thing, like power switch, LED, and all that. Okay, I see LED, HDD, LED. Do you see power switch, like power oh, SW? Power. Uh -huh, and yeah. then reset switch? Yeah, and then the speaker. Yep, so you only need the power, reset, and then the power LED. Okay. So Where does the arrow go? So the arrow goes for where the plus sign is. Okay. Yeah, okay. you can split these wires, so you pull them a little bit apart. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it separates them. Yep. Uh, so it gives you more room to work with. Okay. But these are typically a pain. Reset switch. What's that guy? Where's the plus sign? Oh, okay. 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 Alright, so... <laughs> that was... <laughs> Uh, like we really need tiny hands <laughs> and like really good eyesight for this. <laughs> and then we just tuck these cables back like so, get them out of the way so they're not as noticeable. Now we can put the power supply in. We actually could have put it in at other points in time. There's like no specific order you have to build in, but you just got, I just kind of go with the flow. I guess it didn't even matter what the cable comes up here. You can't even see it. Oh, you like, can't? You can't, oh. <laughs> so. But it will matter on the... Um, on the rest of the cables. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's wipe that down with uh, rubbing alcohol. Yeah. We're gonna put the combs on here. So we're gonna do the same thing this way. Okay. So you wanna line those up and get that in there. Yeah. Once you get your first one on, the second one because it's already lined up, you can like slip on super easy. If you slip in the next one underneath it, it should be like a lot easier to line up. Okay. Or we can actually pull this down and it kind of sets you up. Oh, like for the, put this on top. Yep, let's just see if you can get that right in there. Whew. Okay. Surgery. So. <laughs> Did I do it? No, yeah, I think that's good. So now it actually looks really clean. Okay, so we'll keep one at that distance, and then see when you pull it out, it it lines them all up. Yeah. And gets that nice. nice. It combs it. It does. <laughs> yes, it, it combs it. Comb that red hair. <laughs> Let's get everything else on the front side done. Okay. Yep. We're gonna route this through the back here. Okay. Get right through here. Yep. Now we can do. Can I eat on camera. <laughs> Yeah. Are you, <laughs> are you gonna cut it out or are you gonna zoom in on me? <laughs> I don't know. Depends on how I feel doing editing. <laughs> you wanna wipe this down with alcohol real quick? There's like, I don't know what this layer of dust is, but. Oh, um, don't look at that. It's a little bit caked on. All right. So you can just touch this thing? I thought it was like super fragile. It's not as fragile as like a lot of people think. Like you can just touch all this if you want. I didn't know that. The only thing would be if you had like a static charge on you, like if you were wearing socks and rubbing your feet. But a lot of times you can ground yourself by touching uh, like the case to discharge. So it doesn't hurt to be like cautious. This is going to go right here. So we're going to have to remove these two screws. So those just come straight up. And that just goes right in until you hear a click. And then just push down. Yep. Ooh. There it is. Okay. All and right. Then... This needs its power cables now, which are... This is going to be the end that goes into your graphics card. So it goes like this and plugs in right there. Is the tab on the bottom? Yes, tab on the bottom. Okay. Um, this one has to go in first. Oh. Yeah. So you gotta pull the tab on that to get it out. There we go. Okay, now you can, I'll hold this up while you put the cable combs. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now you can pull that up a little bit and then put the next one. Okay, so this is now gonna go through there. Okay. Yep, so you slide it through there. Hmm. 
Now I'm thinking, would it look better be I think it might look better when I stay down this way. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's pull it back out. <laughs> so let's go straight through here. Oh, can you grab that through? There we go. I think that looks Yeah, that looks good. That looks nice. Okay. So the front side, I think it's for the most part done. Um, Yay. So these are what's used for your storage. Mm -hmm. Can you thread these through that rubber ground? Just right through there. There, I'll hook this up. For cable management, you can go one of two ways. You can either just shove everything in there and close it. <laughs> <laughs> or you can like try to tie things down, which we'll try to do as much as we can. Okay. With RGB, each fan, instead of having one like cable, it has two because one controls the light, one controls that. So that's what makes it a lot messier. So this drive will go in right here. Okay. So we have to remove this first. Okay. And then we'll just have it down like... We'll have it down like this. Yeah, so, yep, unscrew that. Okay. And then it just pulls out. Oh, the whole thing. You can leave that in there. Oh, okay. So now you're gonna... Put this on here and I uh, use these screws. Alright, I think it's in. Okay, so let's get that on here. Let's get everything plugged into the power supply. Okay. So let's flip this up so we can see what's on here. There's motherboard, CPU2, VGA. So that would be here. Okay, put this here. So this is a nicer uh, power supply because oh, you can individually put what you want. Yeah. Other ones, it just comes with everything at once. So there's a lot of cables you don't need. Yeah. Then you just have to like have them tucked in somewhere. But this one is like only use exactly what you oh, need. Oh, nice. That's handy. So then that one will go into CPU here. And this one is for SATA, which is going to be your hard drives as well as the lighting control here. Oh, okay. Now we can drop it in. Yay. So let's clear the cables out because this is like a nest of cables. <laughs> okay. Yep. So you want to put it in so the fan's facing downwards. Down. Okay. And then pull it back. So you see how the, the holes align like right there? Oh, yeah. So you want to start getting the screws in right here. Okay. And then one that up here. Different cases handle cable management uh, like either good or bad. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times they have like places where you can hide cables or more room back here to work. Yeah. This one it has plenty of room, but some cases have like the Velcro built in already. Oh, it does. Yeah. Um, so that I would have liked to see that in this case, but overall um, it's not the end of the world. And this is still a very nice looking case, and it comes with all, RGB fans are pretty expensive. Oh. I think a kit of these fans probably run like 50 bucks or more. Yeah. And it's already included in the case. And the case was, I think, 100 or 110. Oh, um, that's not bad. So it's not too expensive considering everything else it has. This is how the data is basically sent to your motherboard or okay. the rest of your computer. And this is just the power for your hard drive. Okay. Uh, so data and power. So uh, you want to plug this into here and this into here, aligning up the slots. Let's do the bottom here. Yep. So let's get these two onto here, just like you did on okay. the solid state drive. Just bring it up to the front now. The back actually doesn't look that yeah, bad, considering good. how many cables <laughs> and how much we have going on. But um, Ooh, this side looks so nice. <laughs> like a headlamp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. Alright, so you actually get to peel the plastic. Yay. So from this corner right here, if you want to peel it. So if you want to peel it out, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> so I didn't know there was plastic on it. I was like, why does it look kind of dirty? <laughs> <laughs> now it looks like perfectly Yay. clear. And so nice. yeah, it looks oh, super clean. Uh, washer seated. Let's 
fingers crossed, it just boots up. <laughs> There's always a chance that it doesn't boot up because you overlooked something or uh -oh. or something like that. So okay. Yeah, let's just let's just to be safe. I hope this turns on. <laughs> Get a white mouse. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, great turn on. Yes. So just this that power button. Did you unplug it in? Wait up. Let me make sure. <laughs> oh. It? So. The Is there a power? Yeah, switch? yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, turn that on. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, I believe you turn it on. <gasps> Yay! Ooh, wow. Wow. wow! That's so cool. So that's the colors that you can change. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so excited. It will be nice to put it in the red state mm -hmm. so that it matches the cables. Mm -hmm. So you think you're going to run it as a uh, constant red color? Probably, but I mean it still looks pretty cool with the... With the multicolor? Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so you want to make sure it works. Your username is admin? <laughs> Yes, I haven't changed it since I first got it. <laughs> oh, it's because the other person just left it as admin? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool, so, it looks like it works. Do you want her to start anything? Yeah, so we'll make sure the temperatures and stuff are all good to go. Okay. That's so cool. I love it. It matches too perfectly. <laughs> is that the computer? That noise? It is the computer, yeah. Oh, wow. Is it's running normal? red, I think. It's saying that the temperatures are high, but we'll uh -oh. we'll monitor in a second. Okay. Did you have a Corsair software? It's not noise. It's outside. I don't know. Okay. Um, Good question. Let me get I this real quick. I think coming from your computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna explode. I know. Yeah. So the CPU is running pretty hot. I wonder if the pump's not running. Oh. You think you're missing a cord? No. Get my medicine. I'm listening to the pump. I think is happening is the pump isn't running right now. <laughs> and so the fans are blowing here, but the hot, the water's not going through to like bring heat away from the CPU. Hey everyone, Feature Dan here. So I eventually got the pump to work. Um, for whatever reason, it was not running at all, no matter what I did while we were working on Sheena's PC. I was like jiggling the tubes around and trying to like, orient the radiator in different uh, positions, you know, trying to get like any air bubbles or any potential clogs out and try to dislodge that, but nothing that I was doing was working that day. So I eventually decided to move on and install a different temporary cooler so that she could take her PC home and like use it and I could keep the AIO to like try to troubleshoot it later on. So I let it sit about a week and then when I went to work on it all of a sudden it started working out of nowhere uh, I'm not sure if you know the way that I had it oriented the entire time or if like the temperature cycle in my room or something like that did it uh, But the pump all of a sudden started working as soon as I started working on it again So the plan is to get this back into Sheena's PC and um, This is one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan typically of AIOs There's like way more points of failures or reasons for it to not work compared to like a simple tower style cooler um, But yeah, that's what happened, you know builds don't always go according to plan and this is a perfect real world example of that and luckily I had other parts on hand to kind of get through that um, but yeah that's just what happened but back to the video is your work now <laughs> so this is a uh, cooler master hyper 212 it's got a red fan so Ooh, nice. once we Perfect. set the colors to red it will actually fit your color scheme we'll keep it in like this while I figure out the pump and if anything we may just replace it so now let's see how it goes when it turns on yeah we'll see <clears throat> so earlier they were, because the pump wasn't working, it was running at like 90, 95 degrees. But now the CPU temperature is like 30 something. Oh, perfect. So it's, okay, it that, works. That's good, right? <laughs> yes, that's very good. So yeah, you want to just test out whatever game you want to play. We're just kind of monitoring stuff up there. So just run around and kill some owls. <laughs> okay. So I think we're good. Let's um, wrap up the video. Finally, we are done with the build. I put in a Hyper 212 Evil just for the time being. I'm gonna check out her pump to see what was wrong with it. But Sheena did most of it hands-on. Uh, how was that, by the way? It wasn't too bad. It's just, I feel like you need small hands 
which <laughs> I could have smaller hands, so <laughs> it was okay. Would you be like comfortable now opening this up and like if you had to put in more RAM or stuff like that? Yeah, I think now I definitely feel more comfortable working inside the computer. Like I thought everything was super fragile and you can like bang things around. Yeah. I guess you can a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for actually being a part of this video. This yeah. is really fun to do, and I'm glad to be able to like show you how to work on your own computer. Hopefully you'll clean it more often <laughs> yes. after was, three years. I was ashamed of that. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me set this up. Um, I definitely could not do this without you. And then one last thing. Um, this case is actually free for you. Oh, it is? I actually reached out to Corsair saying, hey, I have this video idea. Uh, yeah. And I want to help a friend upgrade her case because she's due for one. This was like very last minute yeah. because I didn't have one lined up for you, mm -hmm. uh, especially a white one. But I reached out to Corsair and I reached out on like Monday and they got it here by Friday. Wow, With COVID and everything like that, that was very like impressive. So yeah. uh, I just want to give a huge shout out to Corsair for sending over the 220T and I hope you enjoy it. Yes, <laughs> I love it. This is such an upgrade than like compared to that old PC. Thank you, as always, everyone for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so we'll see by the end of it how much I can cut it down. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know your comments down below, and I'll see you all down there as well as in the next one. Bye. <laughs> and then the ring. And then the ring goes on. <laughs>